<laughs> it's a little sketchy, but it'll work. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike here at Sunny Soap, and let me show you what I just picked up for free, but we're gonna need to get running because it needs some help. Check this out. We got ourselves a big old workhorse here, a nice big old tiller. They call this a, uh, I believe it's a, well, horse, yeah. It's a Troy built horse tiller. Got this uh, from a guy cleaning out his garage, and I really don't know much about it, except that it's from the 80s or late 70s, and uh, it needs a battery, but it does have electric start. So, I guess, let's get this thing back down to the shop and uh, throw a battery in it. Put some gas in it because i think there's i don't think there's any gas in it and uh see if she gets fired up and i bought a tube for this tire because this tire is she's roasted out and uh he said never held air so we're gonna tube that bad boy let's head to the shop Yeah, you need some TLC. This thing's gonna be so nice because we plan on uh we plan on extending this little garden out. It's uh it's time to grow. We're gonna bring it all the way out here and we're gonna push it up a little bit. We're gonna actually uh we're actually gonna extend this out and this this bad boy right here is gonna make our job a lot easier to get that done. If we can get it running. I'm kind of wondering, should I fix this tire before I take it off the ramp? Because I'm thinking it might be easier just to fix it as it sits here. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure how the damn thing comes off, honestly. I think we might just fix it right here on the trailer. We just got to get something to kind of jack it up, help us out. <laughs> it's a little sketchy, but it'll work. Mind you, this is probably the first inner tube I've done since I was a kid on my bicycle. So if you guys go out there and tell me that I'm putting this thing in the tire wrong, then so be it. Make it even steven. Put a little bit of little air in here too. Yeah. This one looks like it's already been tubed. Y'all think I can get that off the trailer without hurting myself or hurting it I've never operated one of these before but I think uh, I think I might be able to do it neutral reverse should be I didn't tell you I had a tilt trailer. All right, so we got a brand new battery for this bad boy. And uh, we put a little snoot, some fresh gas in it. I put some sea foam in here. So we're gonna see if this thing will uh, 
after we get the battery in there we'll see if this thing starts up and and runs i'm not sure how old the gas is but it didn't smell too bad but the guy said he hadn't used it in a long time so the guy i got this from said he bought the uh, his uh, grandpa bought this brand new back in 1982 for like i don't know i think it was like a thousand dollars or something or like 1800 bucks i couldn't believe it. that's a lot of money back then i've never priced one of these because i figured they're always out of my price range for you know until i got serious about gardening but man i looked at them today and one a little smaller than this off brand not troy built man they go for like a thousand dollars that's ridiculous and to think this guy he paid that back in the 1980s and guy's pretty certain that i was a put a battery in this she'd fire right up like i said the gas didn't seem like it was too old but i did put some sea foam in it because even if it was just sitting around for a year ah oh, that carburetor needs to get cleaned out for sure oh now we're going to do the spicy side key is off this bad boy's in neutral i don't know what I don't know what it'll do. Obviously, it didn't do anything. Uh, well, let's we'll see if she starts up. Chokes on. I don't think there's a primer for this. Started up. Come on. I want to know if this thing works. This is definitely like an aftermarket cable here. I'm not really sure, but I know she runs. There's no gas thing. She's not vapor locked. Should stay running. God, I wonder if there's like a nest in this dang air filter. No, well, she's pretty much sealed up tight. That's not bad. At least that's in good shape. But I want to know if this thing will run and work. And getting it started is one thing, but. It actually functioning functioning is another. All right. I didn't want to put too much gas in it because if I have to pull that carb, I sure as heck don't want a full tank of gas coming out with it. wants to go for a little bit that's it
Well, we know it runs and drives. Let's get that back tailor going. We know it works it's obvious that it works it's just out of gas like i said i didn't i didn't put hardly anything in here because i didn't want to drain out i didn't want to drain out a whole bunch oh it's already went through that Ooh. i didn't want to drain out a whole bunch if this carb was bad so man what a score troy belt horse i think i still got the original paperwork for this bad boy just gotta get it from the guy Oh, would you, would you just look at that? Look at that. There's instructions. Man, who would have known this thing came with instructions?